Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome to episode 8 of Europa Universalis 4. We are attempting an Irish exodus as Connacht. We have been allied to England for the longest time, but England have now decided that they are going to break their alliance with me. They've warned me they actually desire one of my provinces, but at the moment uh, they haven't actually declared war. Uh, what I'm going to attempt to do, um, they're actually... Um, fabricating on me which is a very very bad thing we really need to try and get over to the new world as soon as possible i also need to do my very best to try and get some alliances where i can uh, couldn't even get a royal marriage with um, france because they're too far away which is quite disappointing could i get a royal marriage with castile um Probably not. Again, the distance between borders is not helping there. Um, I'm hoping England don't declare. I think we do have a royal marriage with them. Apparently we do not. And they're hostile, so we can't get one. We very, very well may end up getting attacked by um, England if we're not really quick. Yep, they've stopped giving us subsidies. That's not a surprise. Um... One of our advisors has died. Well, we do want to keep one of them at least. Uh, let's have the trade efficiency guy. Because we want to try and get enough Diplo power to at least get a colony going in the New World. If we can get a colony going, at least we'll be alright if England does attack us. Um, lose a stability and gain inflation. Or, or, oh, lose one stability and lose one inflation or gain three inflation. Neither of those things are particularly good. I think we'll lose the stability. We can get the stability back. We've got admin power coming in. Not going to spend any Diplo power because we really want to save and grab the tech. We're still ahead of time, which is not a good thing. So we know that England are fabricating on us. I really don't think I'd be able to hold them off. I mean, I could potentially build a huge over my force limit army of mercenaries and just go and try and sort of weaken them and get a long truce but i'm not necessarily sure that that is going to help how are things going down here with france still couldn't get a royal marriage with france still couldn't get uh an alliance with them i don't think Yeah, France don't like me particularly much. What about Provence? Now, this is the problem playing as um, the Irish nations. There's not usually many people willing to um, willing to help you because of where you are. I'm tempted to just have my um, maintenance up full just in case England do decide to declare war and jump on me. But I... I They'll have so many troops if they do try and do it. It's pretty much going to be impossible. So we're already over 600 um, Diplo points. We're coming up to the end of the year, so we won't be as far ahead of time now. But we probably still can't afford that tech. Actually, we just can. We can afford that tech. So that should have increased our colonial range. We do have our Explorer. You are going to continue to explore the new world. We need to... Oh, uh, Denmark's actually taken uh, this up here. So what we need to do now is start getting a colony up here as quickly as possible. These colonies are Arctic colonies, which means they're pretty crappy. Um, but we do need to try and get colonies going as soon as we can. Our colonial range is 487. That's too far away. All of these ones are within range. We'll get to this one slightly faster. Let's go ahead and send our colonist. The sooner we can get a colony up and running, the safer we will be if England does decide to attack us. Um, we'll take the admin power and then we can use that to go... What's that? So explorers died again, typical. Uh, we can go and boost our stability, which I think we will. So now our explorers died, this ship's getting massive amounts of attrition. I think it is returning home though. Yes, it is. Hopefully it'll get home before all of those ships get destroyed. 83%, 69%. 
Do we want to get another explorer? I think we can afford to. We'll let them get up to 100% uh, repaired. There we go. Um, we'll recall our diplomat from France. We will grab ourselves a new explorer here. Our explorers certainly don't live long, do they? And we'll get you to keep exploring the new world. And all we need to do now, really, is get a colony uh, established. Well, not just a colony, but actually turn it into a city. Shouldn't take too long. We should be alright now. We should be past the point of danger, potentially. Um, clergy gain loyalty. I'll just give them some influence. It doesn't really matter. They're not all that high up. So you're still not willing to help me then, France? What about if I set my re relations to you as friendly? Would that change your mind at all, any? Nope. Just struggling to get a decent ally here. What about um what about Denmark then? You're you're pretty stompy, Denmark. What about if I improve relations with you and say that I want to be your friend? Now, England is um, hostile towards me. And there's absolutely nothing that I can do by being set to friendly. So if I put threatened, setting your attitude to threatened shows that you fear England. They will view this as a sign that you are willing to ally them for safety, but also that you are seeking other powerful allies to protect you against them. So hopefully we can get some powerful allies. That's the plan. Let's go ahead and keep exploring. We're just going to explore as much stuff in the new world as we can while we hopefully get that um, colony set up. Now, of course, one issue that we do have trying to set up the colony is we don't have any men over here. That's fine. We've changed our... Uh, what is it? We've changed our colonial sort of policy. I uh, can't remember what it's under now. Is it under here? No, uh, here. So... There's a 0% chance of a native uprising, but it does slow down the speed at which the colony builds. It's not going to be helped by the fact that it's uh, an Arctic province. So therefore... Well, actually, it doesn't. It says it's woods. But um, it's going to be pretty slow, simply because it's uh, not, a, not a great province. Obviously, we're losing quite a bit of money now. Right, our truce with England has ended... Didn't realise we had a truce with England. I think it's because they broke the alliance. Um, we'll take the Diplo. Hopefully England don't declare war. Um, they may decide to though. We've got to be careful here. Denmark. Denmark, my old buddy. How are you doing? Um, only minus seven. That's not too bad. They've got a neutral attitude towards us. Uh, which is given as minus 20. England has cancelled the right to military access. That's not a good good sign, is it, really? I can see this attack from England coming at any point now. I'd love to go and just... Um, yep, there we go. There's the declaration of war. So, we might have some problems here. Aragon is giving me subsidies. Okay, interesting. Now, you wouldn't be willing to ally me either, but you've suddenly decided to give me subsidies. Can we hold England off, is the question. If we take out what is known as a butt-ton of loans, can we hold England off? Let's go ahead and get our navy over here and try and blockade this strait. See if we can stop England's armies getting across. Let's move our army into Connaught, and let's go ahead and make sure we grab ourselves... Um, a few mercenaries. This is going to cost us a lot of money. We're going to end up taking out loans. Um, that's not going to be too much of a problem, I don't think. We are definitely going to slow the game speed down. I'm not going to be tr attempting to do this at speed 5. So England have 10k troops. France is now giving me subsidies. Well, I'm glad that you're giving me subsidies, but it doesn't really help much. They've got another 21k coming here. If my ships can get here in time, we can try and blockade and stop them 
coming across. We want to group up here, attach to armies because we want um, Connacht to come and help. Now, there are a lot of ships down there. There is going to be a naval battle, unfortunately. That was Munster's ship. So what I'm trying to do here is stop England from getting across. And I don't think we're going to manage that at all. We're just going to keep grouping up here and trying to get as many units as possible. England have just got me outnumbered. There's not really an awful lot that I can do. While these ships are here, we are stopping England from getting across, though. So that's one thing we've got going for us. Yeah, my entire navy is just going to get decimated. I can't do anything about that. Now there's no um, nothing to stop England just coming across here. So we are probably going to have to go into debt. We are going to have to take out some loans. We're losing an incredible amount of money here. We are getting subsidies, which does help. But um, we don't have a general either. We're definitely going to need to get a general over here. You're not terrible. We are over our leader limit now. We will group up. Now, that's Woods. So we do have a fort here. The best place for me to be probably is over in this province because that way they will have to take the um, straight penalty. And it's in woods. I mean, everything's woods over here. But I prefer them to have to take a straight crossing if they want to come and attack me. They are actually coming to attack me, which is really annoying. Um, they've got 31k men. I've, there's, there's just no way. There's just no way that I can defend against 31k men here. It's just not possible. I'm already massively over the force limit. We'll go ahead and try and grab ourselves um, some more mercenaries, but... I just don't think that it's it's going to be enough. We'll see what they want out of this war. We may be able to just um, give them Ulster and, and get a truce with them. Because we are going to get wrecked. Yeah, I've got I'm not, a, not a chance of um, defending against this. So let's see what they actually want. Um, so we'll offer tribute and suggest offer. Um... Concede Ulster, force to give them 10% of our income as war reps, pay them some money, um, and that ends up giving them a truce. I don't think there's an awful lot else that we could do. No, that's all that they will take. Anything else we'll do, we'll give them more war score. So we're just going to send the offer. So, unfortunately, we lose Ulster, which is unfortunate. Um, we're out of money. We've got no ships. So, there's a few things that we want to do. Um, first of all, we want to get rid of all of our uh, mercenaries. Let's just get everybody uh, into the home province first. Why aren't you moving? Because you don't even have enough morale to move. Fantastic. So, you guys, you're a mercenary. Let's get you disbanded straight away. Uh, let's group you up. Let us detach the mercenaries. We're going to disband the mercs. Doesn't leave us with an awful lot else left. There's no point in having the general. Let's go ahead and um, get rid of the general. Uh, we will dismiss. We are still exploring. So what we need to do now is get our colony set up. Well, at least we've solved one problem. We've only got one colony over here in Europe. Or one province over here in Europe. So moving over isn't going to be too much of a problem. We might as well reduce our army maintenance down. At least we do have a truce with England. That was the main purpose of doing this. Um, we're reinforcing, so we'll still be losing money there for a little while. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this advisor, just because we're losing money. Um, so we now have a truce with England for eight years. That's That's enough. England will now leave us alone for long enough. Um, still can't get this royal marriage or alliance with France, which is a little bit disappointing. Still can't get an alliance. Minus 35 because of my army strength. Well, that's not my fault, is it? I got wrecked by France. Minus 6 for a royal marriage. Still mainly down to neutral attitude. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll get the improved relations up as much as possible. So, we're going to go back up to speed four. What we're going to try and do here is... Oh, we've still got this unit over here that's black flag. Let's get rid of you because you are a... Um, 
a mercenary, so that should save us a little bit more money. It is a shame that we've lost half of our fleet. We are pretty much going to be starting from scratch again, of course, when we get to the new world. We're going to once more be a uh, one province miner. Uh, we are over our force limit now, actually, so let's go ahead and... Um, we will get rid of one of the cannons, I suppose. It's not like we're going to be doing a lot of sieging, and the cannon costs us the most money, so let's get rid of the cannon. Uh, we can invest in an idea, which would be global tariffs. That's not going to be all that useful for us right now. So I think we will save on that. And, uh, yeah, we want, to, we want to move over to the new world. That's going to be our thing. We're, we're going to be abandoning... Um, we're going to be abandoning things over here. And I've decided now what my end game is for this. Is uh, I'm going to go over to the new world. I am going to um, become really powerful in the new world. I'm going to build up a huge army and navy. And I'm going to come back to Europe. And I'm going to give England a jolly good kicking. Because they deserve it. Um... Do we not have a uh, our explorer anymore? Did we lose him for some inexplicable random reason? Um, no, we do still have the uh, leader. Apparently he is still there. No. Ah, apparently he was already on a mission. That's why it was all going funky. Okay, well, you're repairing up. So we'll allow you to carry on doing that. So, let's go back up to speed 5 again. There's not really an awful lot that we can do. Just hope that we don't get um, attacked by England. Oh, we do have that truce. That was the point of doing it, to get that truce in place. Let's go ahead and continue exploring. Keep exploring as much of the new world as we can. Uh, how are things going with Denmark now? They would accept a royal marriage. So we will royal marry Denmark. Who are my rivals? I don't even have any possible rivals. Denmark has accepted the royal marriage. Would they accept an alliance now? No, miserable gits. Minus 11. Mainly down to our army and navy strength. They've got a neutral attitude towards us. Lose a load of manpower and gain one base tax or... Yeah, we'll lose the manpower. We're not fighting, so why bother? Um, we'll recall that diplomat. Now, could we improve our navy strength? We can have a fair few more ships. And we could try... We, we are going to need to get some cogs. Let's go ahead and build a um, couple of ships. And we can start using them to ship our army over to the New World in preparation for moving our capital over there it'll allow us to protect it just in case the natives decide to attack i mean i don't mean the natives as in within the colony i mean natives as in the tribal nations they may decide to attack uh, denmark has actually offered me an alliance we'll definitely take that exploration has finished oh apparently i had some more ships here and you guys aren't protecting trade okay uh so you can go uh, oh that's why i had three ships remaining that would protect it that I was using to blockade, they survived. So let's get you guys back to um, protecting the North Sea. Um, you guys will do your exploration again. Call to... Oh, cheers, Denmark. <laughs> cheers, Denmark. Denmark want us to come to their aid in the English conquest of Orkney against England, Austria and Hungary. So hang on a minute, this is this is England, Austria and Hungary versus Denmark. England is allied with Austria, Castile, Portugal and Muscovy. Yeah, I'm not going to accept that because that will just put me right back at war with England again. I'm, I'm sorry Denmark, but that, that's just not going to work really. Because you're not going to win that war. And there was a reason that I had a truce with England, and that was the reason. So I've lost all my power projection, and I'm in negative prestige. But it doesn't matter. We've got ourselves a couple of um, transports here. We're going to start trying to get our men over. Yeah, we'll try and get our men over. We do want to make sure we've got some maintenance, because we don't want like everyone uh, dying at sea. We will try and get ourselves a couple more ships. We can have another four. So let's grab another couple of um, cogs. We are going to have to start repaying these loans soon as well. 
Uh, Provence declared war on Burgundy. What have we got here? Lose some money for mercantilism. Well, as much as I'd love to take mercantilism, I can't really afford to lose the money right now. We've already got several loans and I've got next to no income. We can't really do an awful lot until we get over to the new world. It's going to be difficult for us. Very difficult. Exploration is finished. Let's go ahead and get you exploring again. We can invest in a new technology. That would be... Well, what have we got here? Let's look at these in order. We could gain some money, which would reduce our national tax modifier. Nobility would gain some loyalty. Or we could gain a free stability and lose paper. Yep, yeah, we'll get take the stability. You're going to get over there. Uh, we were also going to tech up our military tech. So let's do that. And we will pick the better unit type. So we've got three transports. We're working on a few more. I'm going to make it my mission to come back and kick the snot out of England. That's how annoyed I am uh, by what, what they've done here. Um, let's go ahead and get ourselves a, another cog. It will take a while, but we shall do it. And I just did it in the wrong province. I could have done it in Munster and it would have been much faster. But we're not in a huge rush. I should probably consider sucking up to France again. Improved relations is only on 82s. We could potentially get to a royal marriage. They're only on negative 5. I doubt we're going to get them to ally us, but we will do our best anyway. Exploration has finished again. Circumnavigate the globe is the only one that we can do, so we're going to go back to patrolling in the North Sea. And that's probably a good point to end the video. So things haven't gone as, as well as I hoped. Um, the question is now, do England want Connacht? No, it's not saying that they do. Uh, it's actually now that that wants your provinces uh, modifier has gone away. Um, what is the biggest negative at the moment? Neighbouring heretic religion. So what are England then? Oh, England are reformed. No, England are Protestant. So we could theoretically make that go away. Um, they refuse to join the war against us, which is basically we refuse to join the war against them. So that gives us a little bit more. But we can't really improve relations anymore. They're not hostile towards me, so we could go ahead and try and get a royal marriage, potentially. Um, they've got a neutral attitude. Let's keep trying to improve relations with England. Anything we can do to try and stop them being a pain for a while would be good. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're still enjoying EU4 with this attempted Irish exodus. And I will see you guys next time. So until then, goodbye for now.